China is well known for the variety of natural resources and unique production of tea and silk. All of China's goods put China in a good position to trade for gold and silver. But countries such as England and Japan did not think silk and tea were worth gold and silver. Thereon after, they started looking for goods China would be willing to trade for. England started trading tea for opium. After centuries of close trade, China was forced to open its trading ports in order to start importing more opium. The first opium trades were possibly to substitute banned tobacco. But soon after the Chinese learned how to smoke opium, they started to mix tobacco and opium. The mix of morphine and nicotine absorbed through the smoke inhalation has a very rapid and has a lot of intense effects. Opium quickly becomes addictive, and an opium smoking culture and vast opium network was thus created. For neighboring European countries, trade was fantastic. They were trading opium, which was easy for them to get, and trade for their own personal drug, tea. Tea, containing the mildly addictive alkaloid of caffeine, was a drug itself for the rest of Europe. Opium contains 24 different alkaloids. The most abundant alkaloid is morphine, making up about 10% of pure opium extract. The morphine compound was named after Morpheus, the Roman god of dreams. Morphine numbs up the senses and induces sleep, thus making it a narcotic. Morphine and its relative compounds serve as the most effective painkillers known to man. Although effective, the addictive aspects to these compounds is dangerous. Codeine is also found in opium. It is similar to morphine, but less powerful. The difference in structure is small. There is a CH3O that replaces the HO at the top. The product replacing the hydrogens of the two OH groups of morphine with CH3CO groups creates a whole different narcotic. Heroin, chemically known as the diacetyl morphine, turned out to be an even more powerful narcotic than morphine. Its addictive properties are still known as one of the most powerful. In the past, heroin was used as aspirin, but then realizing its addictive properties were too powerful, the narcotic quickly became illegal. Heroin can be easily identified by its unique smell. Morphine and all similar alkaloids are effective painkillers because they do not interfere with nerve signals, but instead selectively change how the brain receives the message or how the brain perceives the pain signaled. The use of tobacco spread quickly throughout Europe. Originally, it was used for ceremonial reasons, but some said to cause trance and hallucinations, which means that the tobacco had a higher concentration. In Europe, even the French Queen was a tobacco enthusiast, but some, such as King James I of England, said it to be loathsome to the eyes, hateful to the nose, harmful to the brain, and dangerous to the lungs. There were more like him, who even banned the use of tobacco in their country. Even punishments for smoking tobacco did little to stop anyone, though. Nicotine is a stimulant of the central nervous system and of the heart, but with large doses, it acts as a depressant. Nicotine has the ability to slow the body and heart down, which could be harmful due to the lack of oxygen reaching the blood. Nicotine is also a potent natural incesticide. Before the use of synthetic pesticides, there was nicotine incesticide which produces much more revenue in the 40s and 50s than it does now. If the structure of nicotine were to be changed, two essential vitamins are created, nicotinic acid and pyridoxin. Nicotinic acid could result in the disease pellagra, which can be characterized by symptoms such as dermatitis, diarrhea, and dementia. Pellagra is caused by the lack of niacin, also known as nicotinic acid. Today, caffeine is available almost everywhere in the world and is unregulated to such an extent that drinks laden with extra caffeine. The structure of caffeine is closely related to alkaloids such as theophylline and theobromin. Theophylline is found in tea and theobromin in cocoa. The difference lies in the number of CH3 groups attached to the rings of the structure. Caffeine blocks the effect of adenosine in the brain and in other parts of the body. Adenosine is a neuromodulator, a molecule release of other neurotransmitters. Therefore, it can induce sleep. Even though it may feel as though it wakes you up, it actually occupies adenosine receptors, and the caffeine buzz is experienced. 
Caffeine is used medicinally to relieve and prevent asthma and to increase blood pressure. There are no known true negative effects of, or diseases that can be linked to caffeine, but caffeine can be fatal and is toxic, especially in certain amounts. Like morphine and nicotine, caffeine is an addictive compound and withdrawal symptoms are present, but in a much lower scale. During the Opium Wars, England started trading opium from Chinese tea. Soon, ale was replaced with tea as England's national beverage. You also see a huge impact of tea in America during the revolution. A recent tax on tea imports had given America a good reason to protest. Then the famous Boston Tea Party occurred. Chocolate contains theobromine and adenabine, which can be shown to bind to the same receptor in the brain as the compound THC, which can be found in marijuana. THC is responsible for the feel-good appeal that people get from chocolate. In this case, why is chocolate and its mood-altering effects still legal? Growing coffee has radically changed the environment. The coffee tree quickly exhausts soil fertility, which requires new lands to be developed, as the old ones become less productive. Tropical rainforests can be destroyed and take centuries to regenerate as well. Okay, let's recap. Morphine, nicotine, and caffeine, all directly related to the opium war. From its beginning, opium as a valuable medicinal herb of the Eastern Mediterranean spread throughout Europe and Asia. Today, it illegally profits from trafficking and finances organized crime and international terrorism. After the health and happiness of millions has been destroyed, directly or indirectly, by its similar alkaloids like heroin, at the same time, many benefit from its pain-relieving qualities, like in morphine or codeine. At once, the use of tobacco was thought to be good, but now it seems like the leading cause of death, and it is a frowned-upon habit. But without its alkaloid niacin, the human body could get diseased. Caffeine, the only compound readily available for the consumption of everyone, is the least harmful. Present in soda, chocolate, tea, and coffee, it is the most used drug in society today. The alkaloid molecule in these plants have spurred trade, generated fortunes, fueled wars, propped up governments, funded coups, and enslaved millions, all because of eternal craving for a quick chemical fix. Napoleon's Buttons, 17 Molecules That Changed History.